welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Pokemon Thursday. The day get off my fucking skittles. Uh, the day of the week where we like to talk about how many dents were in Thanos's chin. Oh, visuals, not really. We like to talk about Pokemon. Yes, and wow, wow, I've gone and done it. I've gone and blew my own mind. I found out a way to drag on these type videos for one more episode by doing what? By ranking my favourite types. Oh. Right, visuals, I thought, what, what better way to actually end off that mini-series, even though we've had a couple of other videos in between, haven't we, Optimus? Do you remember? Do you remember the videos that were in between? Even though we've had a couple in between, uh, we're going to round off that mini-series with my favourite Pokemon types in general. All 18 of them. 18? There is 18 now, isn't there? Wow, I remember when there was like four. There's never only just been four, but you get my drift. I don't know if I necessarily need to say loads about it. I guess it's just... Because some of them aren't so much reasons as to why they're... I mean, I have put four into the list. But I've tried to go off Pokemon that are in that category. But then I can't just give a full category so many points because of a one Pokemon. I've put some four into it and I thought, okay, we'll, we'll run with it. It's obvious my first two if you know anything about the, me or the, the Pokemon videos I do. But it's obvious. But visuals, I think, what better way to just crack on than to on as well? We have to make some more templates. I'm probably just gonna do me shouting because my little dividers only go up to ten, and I don't want to make any more because effort. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I guess for the first eight, you're just gonna have me shouting a number at you, like like this one. Now we're going to our first typing. Eighteen! <laughs> Did you shit yourself? Eighteen, I think, is still to this day, I'm pretty sure it is the newest type added to the world of Pokemon. And the fairy types. I, I like I do like the fairy type, but I don't like the fairy type. I'm gonna go, yes, a fairy type, I just go, yeah, I like it. It's it's okay. I'm a bit more indifferent. I'm a bit more balanced. There's some great Pokemon with inside the fairy types and the Grambles of the world, the Sylveons of the world, the I was going to say Flareon, that's just an evolution, that's a fire type. But like the Zassians and the Zamazentas, there are some cool fairy typings. But there's something around it that just doesn't quite 100% sit right. I remember when they first revealed it in X and Y and whatnot, and we did get to see it and thought, oh, wow, well, this is great. And then on that point forward, I barely ever used fairy types and barely ever interacted with them. I thought, wow, these little fairies are snuffing off dragons, but I'll come and poison the shit out of them. Yeah, fairy types, my least favourite type. Seventeen. Seventeen. We've gone for ice types. Now, there's a, a. This has got a lot of Pokemon in it that I do really like. Ice types. The Laprises of the world. The the, the Dugongs of the world. That I even like the, the Glalies of the world. It's got some really bad typings though. The Ice Cues. The Cragonals. The Bear Ticks. Uh, I, I like a Bomber Snow. It's because he's Grass type though. Uh, but Ice type for me has always been a bit meh. It's always been a bit mid. If I've ever gone for an Ice type, usually it's because they have a Water type component. Um, I mean, I recently did a run of the Let's Go Pikachu game. Get off my Skittles, and I got a, a, an Alolan Slant Slash, and he's a great Ice type Pokemon. But I think he's more badass because of the Steel type aspect. Maybe I should have put this a bit lower than Fairy, but I deem Fairy a bit more meh than Ice. But I always just, yeah, I think of Ice, if I have a choice, I'd rather go for a Water Pokemon that I can teach Ice-type moves to. But again, though, it has some great, like, the Legendaries of Kyrim, he's fucking flawless and stuff. Like I said before, Lapras, my, one of my favourite Pokemon, like, top 20 at least, period. Uh, so, yeah, Ice-type. Sixteen. Shimmy. The dark type. Uh, now, I think it's safe to say from here on upwards, these are all types that I do actually really like, but I just have to categorise them. And I've put dark type in, it's because there isn't a, de a great deal of mons in it that I adore. See, this is where I was trying to be unbiased because I love Crocodile, one of my top 10 without a shadow of a doubt, hence the reason why I got the type. I absolutely adore it, but I can't just rope it all in because of one Pokemon. I need to look at the whole type in. It's a fun typing, it's a relatively unique typing in the way that it, uh, the way that I feel about it, at least anyway, that, you know, dark type, and I instantly got the dark rise and the nightmares and the, the more of a scary aspect, even scarier than the ghost type into the world and whatnot. There, there is something cool about dark and the whole, the dark element between Cressilia and, and dark rise and stuff like that. It, it, it is a fun typing. 
I mean, obviously, you're a fighting type. You get smashed up. Why is why is Dark even weak to fight? And obviously, somebody would have explained it. And actually, I can't remember now. Because when I first heard that, I thought, that's a bit stupid. How are you going to fight the Dark? But Dark typing. Fifth, 18. <sighs> Dude is normal typing. Now, normal typing is a typing that has a lot of Pokemon in it. And I mean a lot of Pokemon in it that I fucking love. You can look at the flying types, my favourite Pokemon, Pidgeotto, Snorlax, Eevee's a bit annoying lately because it gets, it's getting shoved down our throats and being like, everybody love Eevee. But, whatever. Uh, but it has so many great, great Pokemon inside of the normal typing. The only thing is, it's just a weird typing. Yes, there's not much that's true. Well, in fact, there's only fighting types that are good against it. But it just sounds... When when, when this when you're in this amazing, over-the-top universe of flying creatures and you know, under-the-water-dwelling monsters and stuff like that, and bugs living in the tree, and then you're like, oh, these fire dragons and these, you know, grass frog things and shit, and you go normal it just it doesn't have that flair it doesn't have that spark everything about it's just the pokemon inside of it are awesome but the typing's very meh it doesn't do much it doesn't say much it's not super effective against anything yes uh it may have its benefits against ghost typings yes it's only weak to fighting but it's it's so boring and when people add normal type normal typing onto certain pokemon i just think why, like, um, who can I think of? Litleo. Litleo? Uh, no, Pyro. The Pyro line. Make it fire, but then, you know, also normal, because why not? Uh, Orangaroo. Uh, it's make it psychic, but also Chuck no it, It's all, everything's already normal, I guess. It's such a weird typing, but I had to rank it a bit higher because there are a lot of ones I do love from it. Fourteen. Shit, is that the right way around for you? That even look cool. Didn't look at caught the one at least. Fifteen is the poison typing. Me love me some poison types. I do really like the poison type. It's a fun type. It's a cool type, and it has a lot of Pokemon in it. Like I said about a lot of the others list typings that I do really enjoy. I love the Nidoking King line. Absolutely beautiful. Most bugs in general don't offend me. You know, I love the Beedrills of the world. I love the Venonats of the world. Amazing. But at the same time, I definitely think I have to be honest. Apart from Nidoking, a lot of mons that I pick aren't necessarily choose on their poison type. Unless I just fancy having a muck on my team or whatever or a wheezing every now and then. But like Nidoking, I don't go for its poison typing, for example. I'm just like, yeah, if I was to get a Beedrill, it's because it's a cool bug. I, I just think it's a bit of a... Same with the Venonat line, it's just a cool bug. I just think it's a type in that... I've always seen more of his secondary type, and I just like, like, okay, it's cool, you're attached to it. Like Venusaur, I always go, amazing grass. Oh, yeah, it's poison as well, but amazing grass. It's a weird one for me, but I I do like it. Grafai Eyes come along, and I absolutely adore that little bastard. Maybe that's why I'm pushing it up the list a little bit more. Uh, you just give me an electric shock, you little bastard. Um, but poison typing. Fatin! Is the psychic typing and a classic, well-rounded, amazing beast of a, of a typing? To be fair, visuals it just suffers from not a great deal of ones that I adore. There's there's a couple of months like I love Alakazam, love Metagross, but overall, psychic psychic type Pokemon are no, not Pokemon I really gravitate to. But I understand how amazing and how awesome and especially in Gen 1 how badass and powerful it was. You know, it's, it felt like a pseudo typing of its own. You know, you come up against some psychic type Sabrina's out because I mean like you're like, wow, I could flick you over, but you hit me, you're an absolute beast. I do like the psychic type uh, listing probably more than I do like Mons inside of it. Does that make sense? Like I like the typing all together than I do with specific Mon, even though, you know, I love that because I'm Metagross, like I just said. But yeah, it's, it's a weird one for me. I understand how awesome and badass it is, but there's ne not really the type for me to go choose a team around, but still badass typing. I appreciate what it is, is what I'm trying to say. It's just maybe not for me, but I have to rank it because it is such a classic typing. And it's number 12. <laughs> the fuck? It's the ghost typing, uh, kind of a little bit on the same lines as psychic type, which is why I put it next to each other, but a little bit higher because there's definitely more ghost types inside of the uh, the, the the ghost typing that I like the, as compared to the psychic type 
with the psychic. You know what I'm trying to say? There's more ghost types that I like with this whole thing than I do psychic types inside of psychic. They made sense in my head. But again, another OG and fairly badass type in. Only one set of ghosts to get inside of the original Generation 1 games and stuff. So it made it in my head a little bit more like, oh my god, the Gengar, Ghastly Haunter and that. I adore them motherfuckers. They are absolute beasts. Again, what, why I got Gengar tied to my leg. Not doesn't make my top 10, but I do love Gengar. The newer ghosts to come along, absolutely amazing. Trevenant, Phantom, mwah, give me some Mimikyu, mwah, you want to give me some, even give me some Drifloom and Driftblim? Yeah, you fly away with them kids, weird noncy Pokemon, but a cool little backstory nonetheless. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely amazing, I love me some ghosts. Number, Legs 11. Let's have a Skittle, let's have a Skittle for this divider, this is number 11. Skittle. Yep. I've retailed my Xbox on at the wrong time, haven't I? Number 11 is our fighting types. Fighting types are amazing. Fighting types are so cool. The only reason why it probably hasn't broken top 10 for me is because there's a lot of fighting types that I, I quite often don't use. It's very rare I'll, I'll have um, a, a Machamp or a Hitmonlee or a Hitmonchan or something on my generation team. Generation 1 team. Yes, I'll go on to Heracross for my Generation 2 team, but I'm looking more at the bug side of things. Generation 3, not not absolutely anybody. It probably doesn't come along until like the Haluchas and whatnot of the world where I'm like, I need a fighting type on my team. But at the same time, there are so many fighting types that I do really appreciate. I've just said them, that I don't have them all the time on my teams. I do love my champ. I love me some Polyrath. I love me some, like I said, Haluchas. I thought uh, uh, saw can throw. No, thank you. You go away. You disgust me. You horrible Pokemon. Uh, I love me some Jangmoo though. There are some amazing Pokemon that fall into the list of fighting. That's probably why it's the middle type, middle type for me. Because if I love a fighting type, I love it. But at the same time, I would probably be happy if 8 out of my 10 playthroughs didn't have a fighting type on it. Unless, it, like I said, it's a Heracross. But I'm going for the, for the bug type. And any pure fighting types don't really break my top lists of anything. But again, I really do love the type, and it is a fun type, and you can get some great moves inside of the fighting type and whatnot. Some great design mons, especially when they add a little bit of backstory, a little bit of uh, real going there with a bit of the design and stuff. Like, I keep going back to it, Halucha. I love everything about Halucha and stuff. Uh, so yeah, the midway-ish point, no, nearly, it's 11, is fighting. And we've gone back to the normal dividers. It is the pseudos pretty much near enough most of the time. It's the pseudos, the Dragon Boys. Um, the Dragon Boys are amazing. Absolutely fucking amazing. It's hard to rank down the top 10 now because these types are all... Yeah, I just absolutely adore most of these types. Um, but I love the Dragon typing. I'll give me some Gudra. Yes, please. Give me some Dragonite. Give me some Backscalibur. Give me some fucking Drampar or Turtonator. Give me some Dragapult. Dragon types are absolutely fucking awesome, uh, and they are so overhyped, they're so overpowered, they are just as much legendaries in the games of Pokemon, especially in the early days, you know, Dragonite feeling so badass and legendary in its own form, again, like the Gengars of the world, being the only um, dragons in the first generation, and going into, oh no, we got King Dread in the second generation, that didn't we, but going into, it's still not many dragons kicking about in the first couple of games and whatnot, yes, we get more added as we go and whatnot, like we do with every type in Dan. But the, 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 what really puts this up there for me is the designs of a lot of Dragon type Pokemon. Yes, I don't love the design of every Dragon type Pokemon. Like, I like Latios and Latias, but I don't think they're amazing designs. Um, but then we go to the extreme where stuff's designed absolutely phenomenally, like a Dragapult, like a, a Garchomp, fuck, like a Jangmoo. So many amazing, amazing, amazing designs. Um, even like the Aplins, such a weird dragon type, but fucking fun as hell. You can do a lot with the dragons, and I absolutely adore it. But fairies will fuck you up, dragons. Nine is Steel. I, uh, I like, like I said before, um, I've just recently had an Alolan Sandslash inside of my uh, Let's Go Pikachu team. I, I completed that like a week ago or some shit. My most recent run of a, of a Pokemon game. Uh, and I, I, as I was playing it, I, I, was, I, I had Alolan Sandslash on the team. I'm thinking, when was the last real Steel time? I had a good, decent Steel type. Then I started going through all the uh, Steel types in my head. thinking, Dralazan, I've played with you plenty of times. I love you. Steelix, I've played with you plenty of times. I absolutely love you. 
Lucario. Not as overhyped as what I think other people think you are, but I still do really like you. I think, oh my God, there are so Metagrosses. There are so many amazing Steel types. And it's a badass, badass type to be. It's something about being, I'm a Steel type. And when you think about like, the normal, I'm normal. I'm fucking Steel. It just sounds badass and legit and amazing. So Steel typing. Probably mainly because of Steelix. Up, it is bu 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 Bug. Uh, bug, obviously, Heracross of the Worlds. Uh, like I said, I love Beedrills. I love me some Butterfree, Venomoths, Venonats. There's a lot of Spidops. I, I adore Spidops. Um, but Bug Typing does have a lot of nostalgia with me because you always get your early Bug Typing, whether it be a Caterpie, whether it be a Swaddle, whatever it may be. Well, no, Swaddle wasn't quite early, was it? Spinarak, you get an early bug type in, 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 in every game and it always feels very, very special. It's like, okay, we're, we're, we've just got our starter. We're maybe, you know, heading towards the first gym. There's the regional bird. There's the regional bug, the early stage bug. I don't know. It's always had that Pokemon adventure, Pokemon journey, Pokemon story feel with me. And it's a type I'm very appreciative of. Plus, it's a type that contains Heracross and I adore me some Heracross, especially for his bug type. And I love you, buddy. I will forever. So, bug types. <laughs> Round! And I think it's definitely 100%, it's safe to say, every type I say now, it just contains Pokemon I adore. Ground, I'm chucking in the likes of Golem, I'm chucking in the likes of Onyx, I'm chucking in the likes of Crocodile, I'm chucking in the likes of... I just said I absolutely adore it, I've just gone black. Groudon, I fucking love me some Groudon. Regular Sancho and Sandslash, absolutely a beautiful, thank you very, very much. Uh, Toad Scroll, wow, wow! Beautiful! I love the ground type. It feels like a very Pokemon y Pokemon y type. Even though most types do to me anyway, but it just feels like. Like when I think of classic ground teams, and I think of Giovanni, Gary has a few, you know, he has a Rhydon and stuff and whatnot chucked onto his team. Uh, he has a Golem, he has Nidoking, King, he has a. It, I, I see all these amazing, badass, beautiful, well designed, well done Pokemon, and it's such a glorious typing. With so many amazing Pokemon that hold fond memories for me from the anime, from my own playthroughs, from their TCG, uh, their, their cards and whatnot. It's such a great typing. Rock um, is next up on the list. Rock was a, was a hard one because if I had to pick what type that I think sounds better, even though I prefer Mons from the ground type, but we're trying to just base it off the type here, not so much on the Mons it contains, even though that's influenced some decisions. I think rock type sounds just as badass and better and mental and crazy as ground does. I just think rock type. And again, I go. I think my, my main go-to rock type would be Golem. And I just look at him and think, wow, when Charizard picked you up and Seismic tossed you and whatnot. But again, like ground, it feels like a a badass OG Pokemon type, in which obviously, of course, it is. It kind of makes no sense, but I don't know if it, when I try to explain this, if I come across properly or if I, if I articulate it well enough. When I say these weird little things like Rock type and feel like a proper type, like when I when I, in my head I have a Pokemon journey played out, and I I know oh, I'm gonna come across ourselves an uh, Onyx uh, early on in our first cave. I'm gonna come across a Rock type gym leader. Brock or, or whoever, and I just think it. I don't know. It's it, it's it's a bizarre one. It contains a lot of amazing Pokemon. It contains a lot of memories. It's the first badge. Anybody that started playing Pokemon around the same time as I did always got their hands on first, and it will always hold heavy weight in the typings. This for me being our first challenge is the Rock types. Yes, it was just a Geodude and Onix, but at the time you're like, wow, a Geodude and Onix. Me and Bob are gonna fuck you up because they always mostly more often than not start with Bob so. But wow, the rock typing is amazing. Number five is electric. Now, the electric type is a solid, solid, solid typing. I will I probably more often than not always have an electric type on my team. And electric types come with some phenomenal Pokemon. I'm thinking Ampharos. I'm thinking Luxray. I'm thinking Raichu. You can have an alone Raichu if you want. I'm thinking a badass Bug Boy. That's Electric Boy. A Vikavolt. There's so many cool uh, electric type Pokemon out there. Somebody called uh, Legendary Pokemon. Ze Zekrom. Um, uh, Zapdos. I couldn't think of fucking Zapdos's name there. It's such a cool type. And it's such a powerful type. Uh, type in. Yes, a few things resist it. Well, like... Uh, grass type resists it it's weak to ground and stuff like that uh but i think again as well because we were used to always being around an electric type 
Weird Ash and his Pikachu, it kind of stuck in my head a bit more as well as a type and I always needed on my team because when I do a thing, a, play, a playthrough, I always think I need an electro type, I need an electro type, I need an electro type. And I wonder if that was put in there because of our adventure with Ash and Pikachu, because Ash on every playthrough had an electric type. But I still, regardless, I adore it and it comes with so many beautiful ones. Number four is the fire typing. I, I don't think the next few I really need to say too much about. I think fire typing would probably be one of the most popular types there is out there. It's a fantastic type and it comes with the pinnacle, I guess, of most people's Pokemon uh, choices. Uh, it's the most popular starter, usually the fire typing. Uh, even the, the likes of like a lot of people fell in with Fue Coco, the newest edition. But everybody loves Charmander. Everybody loves Cyndaquil. I think most people definitely prefer Torchic in the early games. Sorry, in the Hoenn games. I, I think most people, or maybe it's true. A lot of people love Blaziken and stuff. But the fire type comes with so many classics. So many iconic Pokemon. Uh, like I said, the heat of Charizard and whatnot. So many brilliant, amazing moves. Flame through a fire blast. Oh, that was my impression of being burnt. If I'm ever burnt, that's if I'm ever doing that in public, I'm being burnt. But it's hard to to not think of fire type and have nostalgia. Plus, fire, grass, water will always be free typings that will stick in the soul and the hearts of all Pokemon fans because it is the first decision we make in every single game and every single playthrough. Battle our name, and now more recently the gender and design and stuff. But Pokemon decision, it's our first Pokemon-y decision that we have to make in every single journey. So them typings will always be with us. And if I had to pick out the three to be, is it third? Yes, yeah, fourth, sorry, bottom. It's the fire typing. Pretty much carbon copy, cl copy, click, paste. Everything I said about the fire typing will apply to the water typing. It, it's more of the same. It's in our heart. It's a decision we have to make. Grass, water, fire. Great, great, great mons. We're looking... The starters, Blastoise, the Swampurts, the Fraligators. For me, personally, they're not killing it lately with the water starters. I think the last fun, like water starter where I was like, wow, was... Greninja, yes, I like Inteleon. Um, I do not like the Quaxiline whatsoever. It's, uh, but Blastoise, Swampert, Fraligator. Uh, where are we going after that? Where are we going after that? You've got Samurots of the World. We've got the Empoleons and shit. And whoever else I'm fucking missing. Uh, but as, on top of that, Polyrath. Gyarados, everybody loves Gyarados. The Fossil Mons, the OGs, Kabutops and Omanite, Omastar. Um... Kabuto, the OG um, water sort of, it wasn't quite, well it was, it was the generation one wasn't, but afterwards with, with the Poliwag, Poly World, Polyrath, or Politoed, the Slowbro into Slow King, or Slow, slow, slow Poke into Slowbro, or Slow King, Kingdra, uh, Horsey, so it's so, Lapras is so many classic water Pokemon, and again, it's one of the three that will always be in our hearts. This is the hard one, but I'm going to stick with it. Number two is flying type. Now, you might be like, Dan, I thought you're basing it the whole entire thing. A lot of your favorite Pokemon aren't even flyers. Yes, I know, I get it. But a lot of flying moves are my favorite moves. My favorite HM back in the day was always fly. And the flying type is a huge component of most my teams. Even now, when you don't really necessarily need a flying type, I will still choose to get a flying type because I love flying types. My favorite Pokemon of all time is a flying type. Flying type is fucking amazing it looks cool it looks badass it comes with some sick design pokemon like i said the pidgey line uh definitely not the pit of line eh. uh noctowl and who who fucking the corvenite line the fletchling line there's so many amazing flying types out there then you don't have to have your reach or birds we've got other flying types in there mentioned them before you can have here some halucha you can have yourself some Aerodactyl will have a fossil that can fly. You can even go into your dragon flyings with your dragonites. What? What's more, so flying type is fucking outstanding. Yes, there are some bad designs. Swanner, mm, meh. Sorry if it's one of your favourites. Like, I mean, like Ducklet, fucking. What is the matter with you, Ducklet? You're a creepy bastard. But I love flying. It will always be a nostalgic, hard hitting, important. Very, very important type in my entire life because it was always part of my teams and to, usually to this day still is always part of my teams. 
Number one, it's it's the grass typing. Now, we'll quickly get the generic stuff over with. Amazing, amazing Pokemon. Yep, Sceptile, v Venusaur, um, fucking Torterra, great starters. We can go into like the Tanglers, the Tangroves. Uh, the, the, the Gloomed lines, the, the Bellsprout lines. So many awesome grass type Pokemon. Brilliant, brilliant designs. Some great combinations, Aplins and whatnot. Grass Dragon, ooh, that's a bit crazy. Uh, your Grass Poisons, uh, your Grass Wars with Ludicolos and shit. Awesome combinations, awesome designs, but visuals. I will always cherish this because grass types are always my main starter. It's very rare, unless you're Snivy or Sprigatito, that I will not choose you as my starter. But not only that, it was the typing that really first introduced me into my ever first playthrough of Pokemon with Bulbasaur. I cannot uh, under, under, uh, I cannot under, whatever I'm trying to fucking say, I cannot state enough how much I adore and love that fucking little Bulby dinosaur motherfucker who introduced me into my first ever game and adventure in the world of Pokemon. I love him so much and I love grass types so much and I love the idea of seeing the leaves of a vine whip and the, the sleep powder come down and the, 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 the razor leaves and the, all that carry on. I literally I can picture it all now in the animations and the, the colour schemes of these plus green is my favourite colour so there's already got that unfair advantage of me picking it. I love grass types. Grass types will always be the best. There we have visuals. That was my favourite types of all time. And we will get back to some sort of regular programming next week. This I feel like I've maybe rushed this video a bit more. There was an 18 times. We did all 18, didn't we? I'm fairly certain we did. If we've missed anybody off, I'm a fucking idiot, which we all know. And I apologise. I'm fairly certain we've covered everybody. I'll, we'll find out when I come to put this mess of a video together. But visuals, please let me know your favourite and least favourite and not bothered by types and whatnot. And, or any sort of things like, I love me some ground types because of, you know, what it can do to this. To do. I don't know. Let us know whatever you want about Pokemon typing visuals. And apart from that, thank you so much for watching. You guys are literally the best. Boys, keep being you. And keep on. Uh, keep it on.